Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. This short video is going to focus specifically on the in-game VR settings. Over the past few days I've been experimenting with how to get the best performance and graphics combined uh, in the simulator using VR. So I am using a 3080 card um, and an i9 CPU so I understand that I've got a very high performing system but I wanted to test it and see where the sweet spot really is. So after a lot of tinkering, a lot of trying a lot of experimenting um, after a long six hour flight today with Sea Gym 1 over America and Mexico. Um, I've come to the conclusion that at the moment these are my best settings for both performance and graphics combined. So you can see I've got render scaling set at 90 um, and I'll explain how I balance the other settings to not lose any performance. If I have that set at 100 with these settings I still get slight stutter sometimes which I don't want. I don't want any stuttering at all, that's my aim but I still want good uh, clarity. The anti-aliasing, uh, I use TAA. The level of terrain of detail is uh, 100. I don't set that any higher for VR. I don't see much difference if you do it higher. Terrain vector uh, data is ultra. Buildings is high, trees are high, grass and bushes high. Objects level of detail is set to 100. The volumetric clouds are set to ultra because I find that's really important actually to have the clouds, especially um, in VR. Texture resolution is ultra, and anisotropic filtering is 16 times. Texture super sampling is 8 times 8. Texture synthesis is ultra. Water waves is high. Shadow map is 2048. Terrain shadow is at 2048. Contact shadow is at ultra. Windshield effects at high. Ambient occlusion at high. Reflections at ultra. Light shafts at high. Bloom on and glass cockpit refresh rate high. So the way I balance the settings is I experiment with each different graphical setting in VR and I think about how much it affects the system and I just tinker and I just plus and minus different settings in combinations with others and um, I find that the render scale helps a lot because it really is uh, has a big impact on the way it performs along with the clouds and um, ambient occlusion, they seem to be like the really heavy hitters. I want to highlight that these are my personal preferences um, in the settings. You can get better clarity uh, with higher settings, but you'll get a drop in performance um, in terms of smoothness. So in my opinion, I feel like smoothness is the number one performance uh, goal that I want. And then number two being the clarity of everything else. But even though the game is so high end uh, graphically that I don't mind it not being at 100% render scale and everything at ultra settings because I'm getting such a good performance. These in-game settings are in combination with the OpenXR settings, which I explained in an earlier tutorial, as well as the NVIDIA settings, which I also explain in a different video. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I look forward to making more videos soon, and in the meantime, take care of yourselves and stay safe.